guitar modes. What are they? Should you learn them? And how do you use them? Hopefully this video will answer those three questions. So the little solo that I just played was over two chords, which was an A minor seven and a D major six. And those two chords come from a section of the song Spooky by Dusty Springfield. If you don't know that song, go and check it out. It's pretty awesome. So why would I talk about modes when playing over those two chords? Well, the answer is those two chords are found in the key of G major. So every single key has the following sequence of chords in it. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So chord number one in each key is a major chord. Chord number two is a minor chord. Chord number three is a minor chord, etc. So let's just go through the G major scale and then we can attribute a chord to each note in the scale. So note one, number one is G, number two is A, three is B, four is C, five is D, six is E, seven is F sharp, and then we're back to G. So again, note one is G, two, A, and each of those has a chord attached to it. So if you were to play the chords in the key of G, you play G, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F diminished. back to G okay so why is that relevant or important well the reason is that song spooky has got two chords here which is an A minor 7 which you'll notice is the second chord and a D major 6 which you'll notice is the fifth chord so if we play those two chords and play a G major scale, it will kind of sound right, but not exactly. So to show you what I mean, I've put those two chords into my looper and I'm just gonna play a G major scale over the top and you'll hear that it sounds sort of right, but not quite. So the reason that didn't really sound right was because the first chord is an A minor, but we're starting the scale on a G. Okay, so each of these notes within the scale, one, two, three, up to seven, as well as having a chord attached to it, also has a different mode attached to it. So for example, the G major is also the Ionian. Okay, the second note in the key, A, as well as having an A minor scale attached to it, also has a mode attached to it, which is the Dorian mode. Now, all we're doing is we're playing these exact same notes, but instead of starting on G, which is the first note of the scale, we're starting on A, which is the second. So to play, for example, the Lydian mode, we're going to start on the C, which is the fourth note. So it sounds completely different, even though it's using the same notes. So in that little solo, I was playing in the A Dorian mode because the actual song is in the key of A Dorian because it starts on the A, it's got the D. So it's an A minor and a D major. So now if we play those same two chords in the looper, but play the A Dorian mode, you'll sh you should hopefully hear that it sounds like it fits a little bit better. So hopefully you'll agree that that sounded a lot better than playing a G major scale over those same two chords. So the next question is how do we know just from hearing the, the chords or knowing that it's got the chords A minor seven and D major six, how do we know it's in the key of 
G major and also in the key of A Dorian. Well, I'll try and explain that for you now. So as you see, we've got these chords, G, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished. So let's say that I rub out those chords or and we'll start with a different note. So we'll use a different key and we'll see which chords we get in that scale. So bear in mind that we want an A minor chord and a D major chord. So let's say we start on C. Okay, so in the key of C, have we got an A minor? A minor, yes we have. Have we got a D major? D, nope, because D is a minor in the key of C, so that doesn't work. So what about the key of D? So we go D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, diminished. So D major, yep, that fits. And next we want an A, but A is major in the key of D. So again, that doesn't work. So the only key that's got an A minor and a D major is the key of G. And you could write every other key in there and you'd find that none of the others have those two chords. So when you've got those two chords, an easy way is to see which scale or which key has those chords in it. And then you're starting on the root of that first chord. So let me give you another example. So here's another example. So in the key of F, I've written out the chords. So we have F major, G minor, A minor, B flat major, C major, D minor, and E diminished. So I've picked the following chords. D minor, which is the sixth, B flat, which is the fourth, G minor, which is the two, and C, which is the five. Okay, so as you notice, it's in the key of F, but F isn't in any of those chords. So I've put those into the looper. What I'll do now, I'll play the F major scale over those chords, and you'll hear that again, it sounds okay, but not quite right. And then I will play the D Aeolian, which is also the D minor scale. I'll play that over those chords, and you'll hear that it sounds just right. So. I'll do that for you now and again I'm going to play the F major and then I'm going to go straight into the D minor and, you'll, and you should hear the difference. So once again, in the key of F, all of the notes in the D, major, uh, D minor scale are exactly the same. So here are the notes in the key of F. F, G, A, B flat. C, D, E. Okay. Now in the key of D minor, we've got D, E, F, G. A, B flat, C. So the notes are exactly the same. They're just played in a different order, but it makes it fit over those chords. Now, hopefully that's explained what modes are, where to play them or how to play them, and also why you'd want to learn them. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you later.